What is up, guys? Welcome to week four of the GBA D League. This week, of course, we are taking on Jolt and his Toronto Raptors. We are about to start the game. Uh, I'm just going to pick my team, and it is this one, in fact, the one with the Zangoose. If you guys missed the team builder, of course, make sure to check out the last video on this channel. That or, of course, uh, also the link will be in the description down below. Jolt's link will also be there. Shoutouts to my Jenner for the team, Heavy Metal Pokemon, Eric. Make sure to check him out. And uh, I think we're ready to go, guys. Uh, I didn't want to put music in the background in case this goes really well and I wanted to do something epic, but uh, I've been getting used to playing with music, so we're going to do it. So let's find out which six mons Jolt brings. Uh, as you can see on the right, uh, those are the six that I think he's going to bring. So we're about to see. And uh, we are getting connected right now, and we're about to see the teams. All right, here we go. What do we got? All right, so... Similar to what I predicted, except he brought the Cobalion and the Seismitoad, so no Nidoqueen, uh, and no Zoroark. Whoa, what? Okay. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, Seismitoad and Cobalion. Alright, so Cobalion can be a setup sweeper, that's for sure. We'll put Cobalion over here, for now. And then, uh, Seismitoad. Hello, thank you. You can come over here. Alright, so, Toad's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Because I expected uh, Nidoqueen. But I mean, I can still outspeed it with uh, with Zangoose. So it's not a huge deal. Uh, I think we are going to lead off here. I want to say with... Blastoise seems like the best lead. Because it does check his Seismitoad quite well. I assume he's going to want to get up rocks quite early. So yeah, let's lead with Blastoise. Let's do that. Uh, and then the rest of the team doesn't really matter. He didn't bring the Zoroark, so his order doesn't matter. I'm really shocked not to see Zoroark, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It's really surprising. Scallopede's definitely obvious. Mega Kang, but no Zoroark, man. All right, let's get into this. Most important game of the season right here. This is going to make or break us. We are 3-0, of course, and so is Jolt. So whoever wins here gets ahead and goes undefeated four weeks in a row. All right, let's see what you got, Jolt. Who are you leading with? I lead off with Gamagori, the Blastoise, as Jolt chooses to lead off with Shoddy. That is Seismitoad. All right. Okay, so got a couple of plays here. I can just toxic this thing right now, um, which is obviously a play. He could um, scout for the HP uh, HP Grass. That's definitely a play he can make. Um, but I can get off a Rapid Spin for free on his team. He didn't bring the Gorgeist. So if he gets up rocks, it's not a huge deal. I think we're just going to go for the Toxic. Turn one. And find out if this thing is faster than me. So here we go. Let's see if he predicted this lead. Alright, I gotta get my Calc out. I gotta get the HP bar up. There we go. We're all set. So if he does get up rocks, it's not a big deal. I can Wish Pass into this later if he tries to get off damage. So, Seismitoad, default sets, versus Blastoise, Gamagori, Mega. In theory, I should be faster. He would need a lot of speed to outspeed me. Like, close to max. Yeah, right around there. So, he's going to withdraw. Let's see what he goes into. It's going to be Pow. Who is this? Torn. Okay, cool. So, I'm assuming it's Assault Vest to handle my Blastoise. So, we're going to get off a Toxic real early on this thing. It's going to be quite nice. And I'm assuming the uh, the U-turn is going to come out after. So we are going to get off a of Toxic. We do land it. Fantastic. So Torn is now toxic Tornadus T. Uh, T is at full. Obviously, if he has a Regenerator and it's toxic All right. So, yeah, I did six. Okay. So he's probably going to want to get out of here, I assume. I don't have to worry about Zoroark this game. I gotta keep that in mind. I don't ever have to think about whether this is Zoroark or not. So I could just fire off a Scald here. It's pretty free on his team. Uh, outside of Seismitoad, which I don't really care about coming in. Because I can still Toxic that thing regardless. And I can also go for Dark Pulses on it. Uh, so I just want to see how much Tornadus does to me with a Hurricane. Tornadus, Styrian, Default Set, Life Orb, Hurricane does 57 to 67 to my Blastoise. That's max special attack timid. So I guess we would find out at that point. Uh, how much does he take from my Scald? 50 to 60 if he's not Assault Vest. If he's Assault Vest, how much does he do to me? Without that Life Orb, he does a max of 52, so he has a small chance of 2-8 KOing me. And of course, there's a chance to miss. So 
We're just going to go for Scald. We'll see what he wants to do. He does go for the Hurricane. He misses, unfortunately. That's, uh, that's what you get for running that move. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so that does about 40. I want to say 40, 44%-ish. Um, so what kind of... It's not Assault Vested. Life Orb. Um, hmm. It's a weird spread. Probably around 160 HP, I would assume. Something like that, yeah. Alright, so the next one would kill him. I don't imagine he wants to stay in here. I can definitely see a U-turn coming out here. Um, I don't really want to go for the Scald, though. So, I really want a Dark Pulse. I don't want to let Cobalion in for free, but I have Cresselia, so Dark Pulse is pretty free. I can just Dark Pulse here. He's going to U-turn out. We'll see how much this does. We'll see if he's Life Orb as well. So that's going to do uh, 152 out of 179. How much is that? Uh, 152 out of 179 is he did 16 percent to me with a u-turn that's about right yeah he has no attack investment he's timid uh wait that's life orb uh without the life orb so he has some attack investment actually either that or he's not timid he could be naive and he got a max roll yeah that's also a possibility but i'm assuming he has a little bit of attack investment so we know his torn's not scarfed which is good so that means that his mew needs to be scarfed if he wants to stop my men's sweep that or he needs his cobalion healthy so we'll see what he goes into here. I did stay in, of course. Hopefully he doesn't go Cobalion. I don't want to see that thing coming. Shoddy, okay, cool. We're going to see the Seismic Toad. We're going to see how much this does to him. So we are going to get off the Dark Pulse. The dark Pulse, as that's going to do over half. <laughs> Very nice. All right, that's about uh, that's about standard Seismic Toad with no bulk. So it doesn't look like he has bulk. Um, yeah, because if he had bulk, I did a max of 51. So I did about 54 there, which looks to be about a min roll. On no bulk or a mid roll actually okay so that's good um, we could also be faster than this thing at this point I'm not too worried about giving his seismitoad a um, about sorry giving his Cobalion a boost because I do have Cresselia and I also have uh, men's to revenge it as long as it is an agility agility or uh, rock polish rather so I think I'm just gonna dark pulse again so let's do that as he's going to go for a Toxic, he is faster than me, so he was quite speed invested. That's fine, I do have Heal Bell on my team, I'm not too worried about it. His Seismic Toad is going to go down at this point. This is really good. We're going to get rid of this thing. Alright, goodbye, shoddy. Cleared. One down. So I'm going to write this down here. Blastoise kills Seismic Toad. Alright. Okay, we know his Torn is toxic. It's about at 70% after the regen. Uh, maybe a little bit less, like 66%, we're going to say. Um, so one Mon down on his, on his team, we can get rid of the Seismitoad over here. That is right here, there we go. Beautiful. And uh, we're looking okay, we're looking good so far. <laughs> this is starting well. Uh, the Hurricane Mist sucked, I do admit. It did suck. But that's that's what you get for running a 70% accurate move. There's nothing I can do about that. Can definitely see Kang coming out here. I think we might have just get, gotten rid of his Stealth Rocker. So we might not have to deal with rocks for the rest of the game, which is really nice. He brings back out his Torn, so that's at uh, just under 70. So we'll say 69% right now, and then it'll come back at full if he U-turns out here. So... I don't want my Cresselia to catch a U-turn, necessarily. But that keeps his Cobalion out, which isn't bad. And it also prevents him from spamming Hurricane, which is nice. Uh, and his entire team is susceptible to Thunder Wave at this point. So I'm gonna go into Serenity. If he U-turns, then he U-turns, so be it. It'd, it'd be a good play, but, like, do you really want to give my Blastoise another hit off at this point? You already lost a Mon to it. He's gonna go for Hurricane. And I- wow. Okay, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm sorry, Jolt. Well, one one is okay, but like missing all of them, I know how that feels. I know how that feels, so I feel bad for him. All right. Uh, I have one of two plays here. I can either sub. Sub doesn't accomplish much for me if he goes into a taunting Mew, and I can just fire off a Thunder Wave as well. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire off a Thunder Wave because I don't expect him to have knockoff. And if he does, he's taking extra rounds of poison, and I'll click Thunder Wave again on the following turn. Even if he knocks off my leftovers, it's not a big deal. Because I only really need this for the Cobalion. 
So we'll see what he does here. He is going to go for the U-turn, so something is getting paralyzed. If it's the Mew, that's fine. That means that it's slower than my Zangoose automatically, even if it's Scarfed. So let's see what he does. Um, Yeah, Mew is the only thing that punishes me here. Scallopede doesn't punish me because he gets it paralyzed. So that would be fine. Does he get a, uh, I don't think he gets a speed boost if he U-turns it in. I don't think he does. So, that would be okay. Because then I can Psychic him on the following turn. So long as he doesn't have Protect. And then he takes a lot. And if he Mega Horns me, then he Mega Horns me. So be it. I have other answers to his uh, Cobalion. He's going to go into Lizards. This is Mew. Okay. So he predicts the status. It is going to be a Thunder Wave. We are going to get Synchronized with the Thunder Wave. We didn't miss, thankfully. So his Mew is super slow now. This could be his Stealth Rocker for sure. There's the Synchronize. So we do get paralyzed as a result. And um, I think I'm just going to go into my Pill of Swine here and prioritize Rocks. Because Rocks are really going to help with the uh, the Tornadus as well as the Scallopede. So we're going to go straight into Toshiro. Uh, just because Umbreon is a little bit of an obvious play. And I don't want to make that play. If he has, like, Focus Blast, then so be it, but I think I might actually be faster than a defensive Mew with Pillow Swine. Pillow Swine to Shiro versus um, 70 speed. Goes for Super Fang. That's a good move. It's a good move to carry on Mew. Very good move, because now I'm at half health. Uh, Mew, 120 if it has no investment. So yeah, I would be faster. So I think we're just going to get up Stealth Rocks right here. Prioritize it. Make it a point to get these up. If Mew is his rocker, then very good. I did see Super Fang in one of my mocks. That is what um, Drew brought for me. Drew, which is actually his Zoroark nickname, <laughs> surprisingly enough. It didn't come to this game. So, yeah. I know all of Jolt's front office. That's the thing. I know everybody and, like, nobody could help me out this game. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to find out how fast his Mew is, more or less, here. As he is going to uh, withdraw... And he's going to go into Mama. This is the Kangaskhan. Nicknamed after himself. So we do get up our rocks. Very nice. As uh, Kang does come in. Alright. So, um, he's probably going to assume that my Cress is, is my answer to uh, his Kangaskhan. But it's not. It's Umbreon. So we're going to go straight into Blair. And uh, I might not ever be able to get off a heal bell here. But uh, that's just the way it goes. As long as I can kill the Kang, it's not a big deal. Because his, uh, his Scallopede doesn't ever really set up on me. And uh, I can also revenge it with Salamence. As he is going to Mega Evolve. Let's see what he goes for. So we saw Mew with Super Fang. Mew, Super Fang. We only know two moves on Torn. Goes for Return. There we go. As that is going to do decent chunk, for sure. There's the Rocky Helmet going off. Does a nice, sizable amount to this, uh, to this Kangaskhan. As uh, I kind of just want to foul play, but that allows in Cobalion. So I'm going to... I think I'm just going to go for the Wish. Wish is pretty safe. If he Toxics, he gets toxic So Wish is super safe. He could have a Fighting move on this. I'm not too worried about it. Because he takes more damage and then my Mence comes in. So he is going to withdraw probably into Cobalion. There's Verd, Cobalion. Yep. We do see Kang with Return. Kang has Return. That's all we saw on it. As we do get off a wish right there. And uh, I could totally pass this into my Pillow Swine right now. I just want to see if Cobalion kills me with a close combat. Versus Pillow Swine. To Shiro. It's 57 to 69. Yeah, I'm in range for sure because I'm, I'm at 50% exactly. So we are going to go into Serenity, I think. I could also just Protect. I don't want to give him free rocks, but at the same time, I need this healthy. How much does he do to my Umbreon? Because I'm pretty physically defensive. Umbreon. I calc Life Orb, by the way. Blair. Takes 90% max. Uh, how about Toshiro now, if he doesn't have a Life Orb? Um, Pill of Swine. I have 55 seconds. If he doesn't have a Life Orb does 53% max to me. That's not a roll I'm willing to take. 
Uh, at the same time, I can't let him freely set up. Uh, and Umbreon already did its job. It already weakened the Kang. It put it in range of Outrage after rocks. So I'm okay with switching out into Serenity here. So we'll switch. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go back into Cresselia. My main response to his Cobalion. He is going to get up rocks. I figured as much. That's fine. It's not a big deal. I do have my Rapid Spinner still alive and well. And uh, we are going to catch this Wish, which is very nice. And I could make a double here, but I don't want to risk anything. Um, hmm. Alright, so... Because his Mew is paralyzed, my Umbreon should be faster as well, right? If it's a defensive Mew. Uh, yeah, base 85, uh, 120, let's see if he's max, 152, I'm still faster, if he's max timid, he hits 167, 85 times 2, uh, 85 times 2, 170, yeah, so, okay, so Umbreon is free to, uh, get up a wish in front of the Mew, so I'm okay with just going for a Psychic here, and then just switching, he's gonna Volt Switch, okay, I did expect him to carry that. There's the Volt Switch, and I'm assuming he's going to go straight into his Mew. I don't see Scallopede coming in. That's a bad play <laughs> on Jolt's part if he goes straight into Scallopede. He should go Mew. And then I'll go straight into Umbreon. Uh, he might taunt me on the Switch. So that's not necessarily the best play. Alright, so his Cobalion's at 94. Did we see if it had leftovers? I don't think it did. In comes Lizards, this is the Mew, okay, that's fine. Gonna take 12, we'll see its item now this time, see if it has leftovers essentially. We are gonna get off the Psychic, that does about 14. We do get our leftovers recovery, do we see him with leftovers? No. Interesting. What are you, Jolt? What is your Mew? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm faster. Cresselia is definitely faster, 100%. Well, no, it's paralyzed. Okay, we'll go Blair. I'm okay with going Blair on this thing. We are going to switch out. So he didn't switch. So let's see what he does. Does he taunt me? He goes for Super Fang. Good. All right. He's going to take Rocky Helmet damage, and uh, I will go for the Wish. So here it comes. We are faster. His Mew is getting worn down really fast, which is looking really good for like an EQ sweep, I want to say, if we can get rid of Torn. So we just Wish here because he is paralyzed. He is going to withdraw probably back into the Cobalion. There's Verd. He's Stealth Rock, so I doubt he's um, Swords Dance. Uh, he does have leftovers because he did come in on uh, on rocks before. So we are going to go for the wish. I think he assumes that I don't have protect. Possibly. So we do see leftovers on Cobalion. Cobalion. Leftovers. It's not a, boost a boosting item. Um, we are going to protect this time around because I need this thing healthier. Do get off the Protect. Does he have Swords Dance? Well, he's Volt Switch Stealth Rock, so if he has Swords Dance, that's just incredible. He has Focus Blast. Nice. Okay, good. Alright, so he can't do anything to Chris. Good, 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 good. Alright, so my wish is going to come true. I'm going to switch right back into Cress, I think. It's a pretty safe play all the time. So I'm not wearing down the Cobalion. That's going to be a tougher uh, mission to accomplish, I think. But uh, Serenity is always my play. As uh, Jolt might go for a Volt Switch into his, uh, into his Scallopede, I feel. So I could have made a play there. And maybe gone into, um, into something other than Cress. Nope, he just goes for Focus Blast again and he misses another 70% accurate move. <laughs> this is insane. Rocks, um, Volt, and Focus. Alright, 
So all we need to do is just go for another Psychic. I lose nothing. Goes for Volt Switch again. Yep. I do want to eventually get off a Heal Bell if possible. So he's a special Cobalion. I think Cobalion's special attack is lower. No, it's equal. So knowing that, if he's, let's say, uh, bold, right? With like 160 investment. Does he kill my Umbreon with a uh, Focus Blast? If it's not Life Orb? Focus Blast. Not Life Orb. Does 54 to 65. That's not too bad. Alright, so I do get fully paralyzed. That's not too bad. I'm okay with that. As uh, had he gone into Scallopede there, that would have been no bueno. All right, so he doesn't actually regenerate anything now because rocks are up and uh, have him poisoned. So I'm just going to keep going for Psychic. So yes, he can go for U-turn. That's fine. I don't care. I'm really looking to sweep with Ments. It's going to be tough, though. As long as he keeps that Cobalion healthy, it's really hard. I need to kill this thing. I, I have to keep psychicking because if his Scallopede ever comes in for free, that's not good. <laughs> I don't want it to come in for free. Like, it can't set up in front of me. Well, it kind of can because I'm paralyzed. It can try. Uh, we are going to take a Hurricane here. That's not too bad. We are going to eat that up. And uh, we are going to get off this Psychic. Nice damage. He's going to take some poison. And I'm just going to go for a Moonlight on the following turn. At this point, if he brings in his Scallopede, that is a ballsy play. That is a really ballsy play. Um, Salamence doesn't have Intimidate. I'm trying to think. If he brings in his Scallopede, how bad is that for me? He might just be trying to kill my Cresselia to get in his Scallopede for free and fire off a Z-move. But I'm not as worried about Z-move because that can't set up Swords Dances, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we're just going to go for the Moonlight. I want to keep this thing healthy. He's going to U-turn. That's fine. Now, if I were to go for a Psychic here, his uh, his Scallopede would be in trouble. So now he's about at about 60 with his uh, Torn, because it did take a Psychic. So we'll say 60%. That's not too bad. As uh, If I catch that thing with a Dragon Claw on the Switch, that's amazing. All right, what's he going out into? Lizards, that is the Mew. So we do see this thing coming, and I'm, I'm assuming it's going to heal. I do get paralyzed, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not too worried about it healing, though. So... Yeah, we're going to attempt to Moonlight again. Let's see. His Torn is Toxic, his Mew is paralyzed. His Kang comes in at about 60. His uh, Scallopede comes in at 75, 76, and his, Cobal his Cobalion is the biggest problem for me right now. It's the biggest issue, but saying that Cobalion is a big issue when it's not even like a, a setup sweeper is saying a lot about an opposing team. So I'm not too, too worried right now. Now I do want to see something. Can Scallopede kill me from full? Crest, Serenity, Megahorn, Z. Oh my god. It's a roll from Adamant. It's a roll heavily in my favor. It's 85 to 101. That's incredible. I will definitely fire off a Psychic on that thing, which actually kills. So he does Roost. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, and he's probably going to Super Fang on the following turn. Which, once again, I'm okay with. Now that I know that his Cobalion's a special attacker with Volt Switch and Focus Blast, I'm not as fearful of going for foul plays. I don't care as much anymore. So I am going to switch into Umbreon. As we're keeping our team quite healthy, I like this. He's probably just going to Super Fang is what I assume. And um, I think I'm going to foul play on the following turn after he Super Fangs, just to try to catch his uh, Scallopede coming in. As he is going to go for the Super Fang. Now, obviously, I can wish, uh, but that's not necessarily what I want to do. Um, if his Cobalion comes in, it could be bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I can let Cobalion in for free, because then I lose my Umbreon. 
And Umbreon is so good. So I know I can handle this Mew with my uh, Zangoose. So I will just go for Wish. He is going to withdraw. Does he go into Scallopede this time? No, Verd. Okay, good. Whew! Cobalion. Good, 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 good. I'm okay with that. So we are going to go for the Wish. We are going to Protect on the following turn. This might go to Timer. Depends. No, I don't think it will. I don't think it'll get that far. I need to weaken this thing somehow. <laughs> All right, so I don't mind protecting. I do not mind protecting here. And his uh, Mew has Roost and Super Fang. So I don't think it has Defog, which means I think that rocks are staying up on his side forever. We will definitely just protect here. I knew this Umbreon Cresselia core would be so difficult to handle. All right, so he goes for Volt Switch. I think he's trying to change up his moves. Like, catch me off guard, sort of thing. 166 out of 202. How much is that? 166 out of 202. Whoops. 202. Is 82%. So let's just count Cobalion with max special attack, which I don't think he is. Cobalion versus Umbreon. Blair uh, with modest max special attack. Focus Blast from Non-Life Orb. Focus Blast. Does 101 to 121. This is to Umbreon? Wow. Okay. Uh, if he's timid, does 93 to 110. What did I calc before? Huh? Why is this doing so much? Oh, is it set to Z? Yeah, it's set to Z. Hold on. So back to max special attack modest. I think I can take any Focus Blast from him. Modest does 77 max, we're at 82. So yeah, I think I'm just going to wish again. Fight, wish. As he does go for the Focus Blast. <laughs> Come on, man. Why does this keep happening? This is not the way I want to win my games. Like, seriously. <sighs> All right. Well, regardless, um, his Volt Switch, even from Max Special Attack Modest to, hold on, to Blastoise, I want to see how much this does. Uh, probably not that much. Gamagori. Uh, yeah, 35 to 42. I can easily switch into Blastoise here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That way, even if you focus Blasts, it's only a little bit more damage. It's 45 to 54. Which I can definitely take. I am poisoned, of course, so I need to watch out. I'm assuming he's going to a Volt Switch here, though. Just because he needs the momentum into, like, Scallopede if I go Cress. So he goes for Volt Switch, yep. Alright, so let's see what he brings in. 71. So I should go up to near full, I believe. And then with the poison, I lose 6%, so I'll be at 94. So Scallopede doesn't kill me. From full. Neither does Torn. And if I get rid of Torn, I can EQ sweep, potentially, with what everything's at. He's going to bring in the Kang. Okay. He's going to take Stealth Rocks. And uh, I'm going to catch this Wish, and I'm going to get up to, yeah, full health. Uh, I was <laughs> 1 HP off. Okay. So Blastoise is back to a very good amount of health. Uh, I can easily switch in my, uh, my Umbreon here. That is exactly what I'm going to do. I need to find a situation, because I don't have any U-turn or Volt Switch, that's the thing, on this team. Um, I need to find an opportunity to get in my Zangoose on his Mew, which is tough. And uh, he's going to go for Fake Out, yep, and that's going to damage him a little bit with the Rocky Helmet. Yep, nice damage. Alright, so the Kang is almost dead. Um, if he has Wish, he'll go for it here more than likely. So, uh, I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to get in his Scallopede, but I'll always foul play on Scallopede. And like, if it kills my Umbreon after uh, Kang goes down, what do I care? I only brought this for Kang. So, now I can let my Umbreon go down at this point. Now it doesn't matter as much. So, I'm going to Wish. Let's go. He goes for Wish as well, okay. Alright, but if he stays in, he dies to foul play. 
Kang versus Umbreon Blair. Foul play, even to no attack. Uh, Jolly sure, max HP. Which I know he's not. Uh, it does a min of 29, yeah. This is an easy foul play. Easiest foul play. So he's fake out return, wish. Uh, is he going to try to pass this into his Scallopede or his Tornadus? Because, I mean, his his Kang is dead. His Kang is dead at this point. He is going to withdraw. Does he go Cobalion? Pow, that is the uh, Tornadus. Yeah. Let's see if this goes down to foul play. That'd be interesting. We are going to get off of foul play because he did a little bit much to me with uh, U-turn before. As he is not going to go down. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm not too worried about the, uh, the Tornadus. I can stay in and wish again. We are back up to full. If he U-turns, he takes more Rocky Helmet damage. And uh, he's at about, what, 60 now? That's exactly where I had him before, so... Um, <clears throat> yeah, so... I'm actually going to protect on this turn just to give him an extra turn of, um, of poison. As Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the Taunt. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. I mean, if you want to stay in and taunt me... You're going to whittle yourself to poison. And then if you U-turn out, you're going to kill yourself to Rocky Helmet. So, I don't mind clicking Wish here. Because I doubt he would taunt. He is going to U-turn. Yeah. As expected. Alright, good. So we get off a, a Rocky Helmet hit. He's down to 35, which means he's actually at 65 after the regen. Well, no, he's down to 40 because of the stealth rocks. So 40 every time he comes in on rocks. So now what are you going into, Jolt? What are you going into? Because my entire team is pretty healthy. And at this point, I'm going to try to get off a heal bell so that my crest never gets paralyzed. That's going to be important. Does he finally go into Scallopede? No. He keeps going into the uh, Cobalion. Alright. I know it's leftovers, though. So I know that it can't kill me. We said, what, 75 max before? From a modest set, and I am at how much? I'm at 164 out of 202 this time, which is 81, just a little bit lower than before. So I have no problem going for a heal bell right here. And if he volt switches, good. My entire team is healed. So he will go for the volt switch. We are going to get off the heal bell right here. He's going to see my final move. I don't mind that. Return, we saw fake out, wish. I'm going to write this down. Wish. Like, he's trying to momentum me, but he's not get, getting anywhere with this. He goes into Lizards, this is his Mew. So that is going to take some damage. And uh, the only taunt I saw was on his Tornadus. So taunt. I'm taking down as many notes as I can. We still only have one kill so far. So I catch this Wish, very nice. As uh, this Mew can obviously have taunt. Uh, it's still paralyzed, so it has to worry about foul play. Um, which I think I'm just going to fire off, honestly. If he super fangs me, then so be it. I get off a of foul play. Just still going to do a decent amount. We are faster, confirmed. Good. That's going to do a heck of a lot. Is that a crit? No. And this is Rocky Helmet. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good job, Jolt. I love it. So he takes a Rocky Helmet hit. He is at... Uh, close to 14%, which means he dies to Psychic. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think, is this where I bring in my... No, not yet. We still wish. We still wish here. Let's see what he goes for. He's probably going to go for Roost, I would assume. But, like, he can't do much to me. As he gets fully paralyzed. Oh my god, what the heck? This is sad. This is so sad. Like, Jolt is getting hacked the hell out of this game right now. And, like, I'm going to go back up to close to full. And I'm going to be able to get off a foul play on the Scallopede even if it comes in. Like, it doesn't matter. This is really sad. I never let Scallopede set up in front of me. That is, that is the game plan from here on out. Is just do not let Scallopede set up. And I'm good. Oh, that's so sad. After uh, this attack goes off, foul play, yeah, he, so he's gonna die. 
As this is going to kill the Mew, I'm going to take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage and I'm going to catch my Wish. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to go get some water. Be right back. I'm all out. There it is! There's the bug! Sorry if I was yelling a little bit loud. I didn't know how close or far I was from my mic. So, um, like I said, not letting this thing set up, just going for a foul play at this point. Um, I want to see how much Scallopede does to my uh, Blastoise from where it's at. Uh, Gamagori, which no longer has poison, but I am at... Lost 1 HP, so I'm at like 93. I want to say, so Mega Horn, if he is Z, uh, does 87, so he doesn't kill me. Uh, wait, I take rocks. 93, 80, he might, he might. Uh, 12, yeah, he, he might if he's Z. Does he kill my Umbreon? Umbreon, Blair. 81 max. I'm at 153. This is, uh, non-Z. This is max attack. 153 out of... 202, 75. Okay, so he definitely can kill me. I'm just gonna go for foul play. As he goes for Mega Horn, he does connect. Does he kill me? Does he knock me out? He does not. So he's gonna take Rocky Helmet. Is he Life Orb? No. He's gonna take a foul play. Oh god. Alright, so he gets the speed boost, but at this point it doesn't matter. It does not matter at this point. Uh, I don't need Blair anymore because his Kang is so low. Uh, so we can cross off Mew, by the way, and I think we're going to be able to cross off this uh, Scallopede in a sec. So we're going to go for the Wish. We do have two forms of priority to knock this thing out. He's going to go for Earthquake. That's fine. And uh, I think we're just going to go into, I want to say, Pillaswine. So my Umbreon goes down. First Mon on my side to go down. Umbreon. I'll trade Umbreon for Mew and Scallopede any day. I still can't EQ sweep. <laughs> I think he's making sure of that. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> damn, Jolt. Good job. This is good. You're doing well here. Um, okay, so I need to figure out what I want to kill this with, essentially. Uh, if I go into uh, Toshiro, then he can bring out his Cobalion for free, which isn't the end of the world, but he could have Toxic, which would wear down my crests, which would suck. Um... But his Cobalion can never beat my Blastoise. I think my Blastoise is going to win this game. So I don't mind losing my uh, Pilliswine to whatever comes out after because I'd much rather have the priority for his Torn and for his Kang uh, with uh, Zangoose. So having two forms of priority right now, solid. <laughs> Let's go for Ice Shard. And we are going to knock out the Scallopede with the Ice Shard. He doesn't switch out because rocks are up. And there's no way for him to get rid of them. Uh, if he wants to conserve a sack, I guess. But, like, really? <laughs> really, is that necessary? Um, at this point, Salamence can start spamming moves. Uh, I just have rocks to worry about. Like, that's the only thing, is rocks. Did I EV my Salamence to be... Hold on a second. Does that have even HP? I'm going to be angry if it does. So he does withdraw. He is going to keep it a sack. Okay, no, I have 177. Good. All right, so he's going to go Cobalion. That's fine. Uh, as he is going to take some stealth rock damage. I'm going to get off an ice shard. That's fine. So he's conserving a sack. That's all he's really doing. Uh, I can go crest here and just fire off a psychic at this point. I don't have to worry about synchronize anymore. Um, so Scallopede is technically still alive, but it's going to die. Uh, I like the ice shard priority simply for uh, Torn and Kang. So I will conserve this. I have no. Re I'm going to be looking at differential at this point. I'm going to go crest. I have no reason not to. Like, Focus Blast plus uh, Volt Switch is not threatening to me. Again, he could be toxic, like that's the only real issue. And I'm assuming that's what he is. So he goes for Focus Blast, and it will connect this time, for the first time in the game. <laughs> first time his Focus Blast connects. That's crazy. As he is gonna get some leftovers, that's fine. Uh, now I don't have close combat on Zangoose, of course. As you guys know, I have Iron Tail. Uh, for the Deancey, so that Mence could sweep. Uh, I really didn't think he would bring Cobalion, but it's putting in work. It is definitely putting in work right now. 
Uh, at this point, I'm just going to go for a Psychic, because if his last move is Toxic, then we're about to find out. And uh, I will do a decent chunk with Psychic, seeing as how Cobalion's uh, Spadef is not as good as its Fizz Death. So we'll do that. And uh, at this point, his team is way too weakened to deal with my Cress, I think. Like, Cress is going to be a pain in his, in his side. It's just going to be so bad for him. Like, he needed taunt with Mew. He needed uh, Scallopede to be alive to deal with this, and the fact that I made sure that I never had to switch out uh, against the Scallopede and just getting off damage against it, like, that was that was key, I think, to winning this game. So, Jolt is not messaging me, by the way. He said he wouldn't message me until after the, uh, until after the game, so that's why I haven't, like, said sorry or anything. Uh, but he is going to go into Torn, he will take Rocks, he will take Poison, and he will take a Psychic. And uh, if he taunts me, then he will go down to Poison, I believe. And if he U-turns, I'm going to Moonlight. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. He's going to take this first round of Poison, and the next one will kill him because he's at less than 10%. So Moonlight is a free attack right now. He can taunt me if he wants, I don't care. I really don't care at this point. And uh, against Kang, I'll stay in. He's going to U-turn, as expected. And uh, I'm assuming he's going to go into Kang. This is so hard for him now. I feel bad. I actually do. Like, this sucks. Everything that didn't go his way. So many misses. Stop drafting 70% accurate moves, Jolt! What are you doing? <laughs> All this Focus Blast and Hurricane business. Don't do this. I'm sorry. I'm really. I actually am really sorry uh, that all this happened because this is not the kind of game that I wanted necessarily. Like, obviously, I brought Thunder Wave. Like, that was like the one piece of hacks that I wanted. So the, the paralysis on the Mew. I said before, like this that sucks for him. Like, it just keeps piling on. But it's the fact that it kept piling on on top of other things that really made me feel for him. So, you know, it's it's just it's shitty. I'll say it. It's it's really bad. Uh, he is going to go into POW, this is his Scallopede, he is going to sack it, I do get off the Moonlight. Uh, of course, his uh, Torn can now come in and taunt me for free, if it wants to. Uh, so Scallopede is finally dead, the biggest threat to me on his team. Because we're going to get back all of our health. It's nice and ju juicy health. And now I'm assuming he's going to go Kang, click Wish, and then go into Torn and try to do his best to uh, to beat me. Or Cobaliana, either one really. So he is going to go into uh, into Mama. Uh, so I can't really let him wish for free, so I need to go for Psychic, regardless, because I knew he'd bring Wish. This thing doesn't speed boost, though. Yeah, we're just going to Psychic. And he's going to go for Crunch. That's fine. That won't kill me. That doesn't do enough. That does <laughs> pitiful damage. He gets a defense drop. Which is kind of bad, but at the same time, like, he's dead to Psychic. I'll switch out against this Tornado, so I really don't care. And we'll deal with it. So down goes the Kang, and he is now down to two Mons. If I actually 5-0 Jolt, that's... <laughs> like, and it looks bad on me because of all of this hacks, right? It's, it's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted at all. Um... So now I can freely click Earthquake, I think, with Salamence, because he's going to bring in his uh, Tornadus. And um, I'm going to attempt to Moonlight. We're going to go for the Moonlight. If he taunts me, then I'll switch out. But his U-turn doesn't do enough to me for me to be scared. He is going to taunt. That's fine. I'll switch out after. He does catch me using the Moonlight. It's not a big deal, because he takes a round of Toxic here. So that ensures that he comes back in at exactly where he was before he switched out. And uh, U-Turn isn't going to do enough to my... Um, it's not going to do enough to kill my Pillow Swine. Now, do I want to conserve Differential is the question. Because he might just go for Hurricane. I don't want to go into Salamence and just like sack it off for no reason. Um, so I'm going to go into Toshiro. And uh, afterwards... We're going to switch out of Crest. Uh, afterwards, uh, once he kills this, which he will with Cobalion if he U-turns, or if he Hurricanes right here. Does go for the U-turn. Yep. As expected. And uh, at this point, I think 
I think I'm gonna bring in Blastoise after this and just fire off a Scald because that's gonna do a tremendous amount to Cobalion. Um, I mean, I could also just go back to Cress and just Psychic and start wearing this thing down because it doesn't seem like he has... Um, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake, by the way. Uh, it doesn't seem like he has uh, Toxic on this thing. So I can just freely Psychic now. Because his Torn takes rocks. And uh, it comes in at about 20. So it should die at this point. So let's see. He's probably just going to go for the Focus Blast. It sucks that he has to rely on this now. Or else I get a huge chunk off on his Cobalion. Like... <laughs> this, is, this is not... Like I said, this is not the game that I wanted. Absolutely not. And like, he doesn't get anything, he doesn't gain anything from switching into Torn because he takes 25% plus 6 from the Toxic, and he goes for Volt Switch. So, I get off an Earthquake, I didn't want to preserve Differential, I think Jolt at this point just needed to make a play, and uh, so he did. And I get off the Earthquake damage, and that is going to pretty much seal the deal at this point. Like, I'm not as hyped as I should be because of everything that happened this game. So, I'm just going to go for the, uh, I think I'm just going to Ice Shard at this point, because I know I'm not getting off a hit. Well, I guess he could miss. We'll just go for EQ. He is going for Focus Blast. He does connect it. Thank God. <laughs> that would have just been... Ugh. I would have hated myself for that. But, uh, yeah, down goes the uh, Cobalion. Uh, no, the uh, Piloswine, excuse me. We'll get that off the layout real quick. And, uh, yeah. I thought this might go to time, but it's not. it doesn't look like it's going to go to time. So we'll go into Serenity, and we'll just start firing off some Psychics. And uh, if, at any point, if he goes into Torn, then I kill it with Psychic, so uh, this is fine. If he has Rest, that's that would be cool. But uh, then he has to worry about my Salamence. So just going for Psychic. Save his play. And uh, if he Volt switches out, then his Torn dies. And then we kill the Cobalion between Moonlighting and Psychicking, so. This fat duck. <laughs> this fat duck is going to pick up so many kills. He's going to hidden power. What what the hell is this? What hidden Oh, it's ice. <laughs> it's got to be ice. It's got to be ice. There's nothing else that I could imagine that being. Oh my god. Ice. <laughs> I assume ice. Man, this is just ugh. I have a bad taste in my mouth, guys. Like, I get that I won 4-0, but... Really? Really? What was that? Two Hurricane misses, two Focus Blast misses, a full Para on the Mew? He's gonna Volt Switch, sure. I mean, that's his strongest move to hit me at this point. I'm just spamming Psychic. I'm just spamming Psychic. <laughs> like, I killed the Torn at this point. He comes in at, like, 20. So. Ugh. Look at this. Takes 25, takes the Psychic while he's at 20%. This might actually just straight kill him. And it does. Goodbye. <laughs> I sound like so, so drained because I thought like, I don't know. I thought this would go a different way. Uh, be a much closer match. Like win or lose, I wanted, or I wanted this to be like an intense match. And it ended up being a, a hacks fest. So... You can imagine why I'm feeling like this. So, that's it. Focus Blast. Unless he crit, spadef drops me and into crit, spadef drop, into crit, spadef drop, and doesn't die to three psychics or two psychics, then, uh, yeah, this game's over. Cobalion's still alive, but uh, it's going to go down right now. So, damn. This is, uh, like, Salamence and Zangoose didn't even hit the field. That's so sad. I really wanted to, to use them. I wanted Salamence to sweep, and it came down to just him missing a bunch of moves and Salamence never having to come in at all. His Megahorn didn't kill me. I guess it was a 50-50 roll, but at that point, like, he deserved it. Uh, I put him in range of uh, Ice Shard into uh, Toxic Boosted Quick Attack regardless, but... That's it. We beat Jolt, guys. We are now 4-0 in the GBA D-League uh, as the undisputed, undefeated team at the top. And, uh, oh, can't wait to hear what Tom has to say about this game. Uh, not in a good way, because, like, this is twice now where I've pretty much won, uh, not solely because of hacks, but in large part because of it. So, that was 
stupid. That was actually stupid. That's that's what I wrote to Jolt. Um, good game to Jolt. Uh, guys, make sure to check him out in the description down below. Like, this, this scoreline does not uh, reflect at all what uh, Jolt is capable of. He's an amazing player. His team is really good. And I don't think he he's going to run into... Uh, a lot of issues from here on to the end of the season, so uh, we'll probably meet again in finals, and I hope not to have another game like this. However, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Go check out all the links in the description as usual, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Subscribe, subscribe, I forgot that one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out, guys. Ciao.